guys. Oh my God, you're amazing. Thank you. I, uh, I've had a big year, I have. A couple months ago, I came out of the closet as gay. And for me, the hardest part about coming out was tracking down everyone from my childhood so I could tell them they were correct. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny, after I came out, so many people from my past said that they knew I was gay before I even identified as gay. Like after I came out, so many people from my past were like, ah, I knew Rob Gleason was gay. I knew Rob Gleason loved pee-pees. <laughs> I swear to God, there's a true story. Gleason was 10 years old, he was playing Little League. I was like, that kid right there is gonna be a queer. There was just something about how he put the bat in his mouth. That kid. <laughs> I don't know why I do that joke in a Brooklyn accent. I grew up in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. <laughs> That boy right there is gonna be a queer. You can tell from how he puts the bat in his mouth. <laughs> if you say anything in a Wisconsin accent, you have to invoke God and then end it with the words, good for him. You know, if that little boy wants to spend his adult life going around putting baseball bats in his mouth, for God's sake, that's his God-given right. Good for him, though. <laughs> trying to, uh, I'm trying to embrace the gay community. I'm going to the gay clubs. Craziest part of a gay club is the men's bathroom. Because at a gay club, the men's bathroom is just like a smaller version of a gay club. <laughs> it's like a gay club within a gay club. It's like, what do you want to do at a gay club? You can do it in the bathroom, okay? You want to do drugs? Go to the bathroom. You want to hook up? Go to the bathroom. You want to get in a fist fight? Go to the bathroom. You want to go to the bathroom? You go outside. It's a 24-hour diner across the street. Recently, I was at a gay club, and uh, these three guys came up to me, and they said, hey, we're all gonna go into the bathroom. Do you wanna come with? And I'm, I'm newly out, I'm trying to make friends, so I was like, yeah, sure. <laughs> and then when we were in the bathroom, they were like, hey, we're all gonna go into the stall. Do you wanna come with? And I was like, yeah, sure. <laughs> And then when we were in the stall, one of them pulled out like the tiniest little Ziploc bag I've ever seen. And I swear to God, I thought he was gonna say, hey, we're all gonna go into this tiny Ziploc bag. <laughs> Do you wanna come with? But what happened next is like the coolest thing that's ever happened to me. These guys offered me cocaine. Rob Gleason, not the kind of guy that gets offered blow, okay? If anybody looks like an undercover cop, it's me. And if I don't look like an undercover cop, at the very least, I look like a tattletale. <laughs> So I said no to the cocaine, I don't do drugs, but uh, I, I, I want to make friends. So like I didn't leave the situation. I just stayed there in the bathroom stall and watched as the three of them did cocaine, which is the most undercover cop thing you could do <laughs> in that situation. There was one time when I was a kid when my sexual orientation slipped out. Uh, I was 15 years old. I was on spring break in Cancun, Mexico. It was just me and my parents. And while I was down there, I met a girl who was also uh, 15, and it was just her and her parents. So she and I, we became like spring break buddies. We did everything together. And one night we were at this dance club in Cancun. We had been sneaking beers. And uh, she told me that while we were on spring break, she wanted to have sex with me. And I knew in my heart, like I knew I was attracted to boys, but I'd never been confronted like this. And, and I, I didn't know what to do. So. There were these candles on the tables in the dance club. I picked one up and I held it between our faces and I said, I can't have sex with you because I'm gay. And then for dramatic effect, I blew out the candle. <laughs> and like she just started screaming at the top of her lungs. And 15 year old Rob had never told anyone he might be gay. 15 year old Rob had been sneaking beers. He freaked out. I ran back to my parents' hotel, hid out, never saw that girl again. And for months, I just thought, that's what happens when you come out of the closet. <laughs> People just start screaming like a maniac. What I eventually figured out was that that candle had been sitting there for hours. And when I blew it out, I showered her face with hot wax. <laughs> I glazed it like it was a donut. <laughs> Think about that story from her perspective. She's on spring break. She meets a nice, cute, clean-cut boy from Wisconsin. She goes out on a limb and tells him that she wants to have sex with him. And what does he do? He says, I can't sleep with you because I'm gay. And then he sets her face on fire. <laughs> you guys, my name is Rob Gleason. Thank you very much.